Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Physical Geography course. Today we're going to be learning about the Boscastle floods. Where is Boscastle? Boscastle is a town located in Cornwall in the UK. It borders the sea which is next to a convergence zone. As you can see Cornwall is highlighted on the map. Boscastle is located in pretty much the centre of Cornwall but on the northern end of the frontier. So how did this happen? Sea breezes from the north and the south met in a convergence zone. This is a place where the wet conditions from the sea moved over the zone. So as it reached the land, all these wet conditions were then warmed by the land. So as a result, the air, which heated up these conditions, made all of the kind of air and sea breezes that came over rise and condense into clouds. It then rained a lot onto the land. And why did it flood then? Well, pretty much antecedent conditions already made the sandstone in the geology of the area very saturated. So when all of this rain rained upon the land, there was very little drainage which could have taken place. So as a result, there was a lot of flooding because there wasn't as much infiltration. Also, Boscastle has a very small drainage basin. The River Valency, which is a river that flooded in Boscastle, has a small drainage basin. More rain couldn't um, get out of the drainage basin, and as a result, the rate of precipitation getting into the drainage basin exceeded the rate of infiltration, hence making discharge increase. Also, the volume and the intensity of rainfall really was very powerful. So as a result, it was obvious that the rate of infiltration wasn't going to be as much as the rate of precipitation, hence causing the discharge to increase. And urbanisation did play a role in the flood as well. Boscastle is a very urbanised area, so the land, for example, the pavements restricted drainage. As a result, all the water then ran off into the channel. Impacts of the Boscastle flood. An environmental impact is that many trees were destroyed and animals were killed in their habitats. An economic impact is that many fam farmers lost their crops. Also, a lot of money was spent on rescues and reconstruction of buildings that were damaged by the flood. People were left homeless as the flood destroyed many homes. And also, many roads were closed, which prevented people from getting where they needed to go. So how did people respond to these problems caused by the flood? I divided these up in short-term and long-term ways of response. Short-term responses include helicopter rescues, which took place in order to save people. Roads were closed in order to prevent people from moving into the flooded area. Also, lifeguard teams watched people f at the harbour in order to try and save them. And also, a clean-up operation was instantly conducted. Long-term responses include that the council issued a rebuilding plan for the city and also a replanting plan in order to restore all of the trees. Here are some questions on the Boscastle floods. Write these down on another sheet of paper by pausing the video to give yourself time. Hit play to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got all of these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on the Pakistan floods, a case study in a less economically developed country. As always, thank you for watching and be sure to visit the channel or revise A level for more information. I'll see you next time.